every time I put this one on an assessment, um, especially at this point in the year, I get students that want to use RRAM, LRAM, one of the approximation methods. So first of all, it doesn't say to do that, which doesn't necessarily mean not to, all right? But um, it does say we want to use a geometric formula. All right, so we're going to evaluate this integral using a geometric formula. Keep in mind, definite integral means that we're finding what? An area, right? So the problems that I'm going to give you for this are going to look something like this. We could evaluate this using a definite, or I'm sorry, using a limit on RM just like we did, um, but we don't need to. This is one um, that's actually a freshman level geometry problem. Okay, you actually probably could have done this. When did you guys learn the formula for a trapezoid, area of a trapezoid? Seventh or eighth grade, maybe? Um, this is one that if this problem were written a different way, um, a, a middle schooler could do it, maybe. Maybe not middle school. We'll say junior high. Um, but we have to know what it means. So how do we rewrite this problem so that a junior high student could do it? We're looking for the area between this function and the x-axis between x equals 1 and x equals 5. So if I want to know literally what this means, I can draw a picture of that. I can put in my coordinate plane. Um, I can draw that function. So it's going to have a y-intercept of 12, an x-intercept of 12. Um, and I want to know what the area is between x equals 1 and x equals 5, uh, which means that we're going to draw some vertical lines here, and we want to find that area. So that, that area right there, we can do one of two things. We can, um, the simplest way to do it is, is a more complicated formula, but we can find the area of a trapezoid since this side and this side are parallel to each other. There's vertical lines. Um, or we could split this up into a rectangle and a triangle and find the area of each of those and add them together. All right, but what this, this integral is asking for is just the area of that region. So to find the area of that region, um, we need to find a little bit of information about this. We have a height of 11 here. We have a height of 7 here. I got those heights just by plugging in 1 for x here and 5 for x here. Um, and what's the, the height of that trapezoid going to be, which is actually the width along the x-axis? It's going to be 4, right? Um, so with that information, this is just going to be the area of a trapezoid, which is base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times the height. So we've got 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. Now, if I'm going to identify my answer here, um, I want to write the integral equals 36. So uh, depending on how it's set up on an assessment, you, write, you might write this or you might write the integral equals um, if, if you're asked to do that. Another common one that you'll see, I'm not going to go through all of this, but you might see an integral that looks like this. Um, and when, when I give you something like this, I, I don't think I should have to do this, but I, I will. Um, I'll give you something like this. So if x squared plus y squared equals 25, um, then that gives us y equals plus or minus the square root of 25 minus x squared. So how is this helpful? This, this part here that's written in pink. It shows us that this, this function right here, this radicand, not radicand, uh, this integrand, um, is, is really just the top half of the circle, right? Because this is positive. So it gives us the top half of the circle. Um, and so going from negative 5 to positive 5, we're going from the left edge of that semicircle to the right edge of that semicircle. Um, so this integral right here is just asking for the area of the circle. Sorry, the area of the semicircle. Exactly, half a circle. Um, so you would just use, in this case, instead of the area of a trapezoid, we would use the area of a circle formula. Uh, so it would be pi r squared divided by 2, right?